Hi, welcome back to another video. Well, hello there. Did you know that you can request a private video from me made just for you that you can keep forever and ever? Yep, that's right. I can wish you or a loved one a happy birthday or even give you a pep talk. I'm in Kuwait, so if you want a cameo at a specific location like a nice beach or a mall, just let me know. Get yours today and don't delay. Hey guys, we're here at the city center. We're gonna pick up a few things, have a look around. I'm particularly looking for a silver chain for a charm that I found that was my grandmother's, so I wanna wear it as a necklace. So the city center is like a huge center where you, there's so many things. You can get clothes, food, uh, housewares, all kinds of things. So yeah, yellow, let's go shopping. Lots of clothes here. I bought a shirt from this place once. That blue one I have is from there. This wood here, guys, this is what they make bokor with, um, incense. You burn it on uh, the coals and they make fragrances also. All right, so we're gonna look for a silver chain here at this store, <laughs> jewelry store. Sadly, we checked a few places, but we couldn't find one that had exactly what I'm looking for, a type of real silver chain in my size just the chain that doesn't come with the charm so i'm gonna to have to keep looking so hopefully in another sook somewhere in kuwait i will find one i'm sure look at this cool escalator with no stairs on it So here's the food court, it's still closed until Maghreb time, which will be in about an hour. Also, I wanna say I got recognized in public by a fan, so hello to you. Thank you for saying hi. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching me. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. All right, we're gonna go get some snacks. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah, I know I don't need snacks, whatever. All right, guys, we found an arcade, and because I'm a big kid, I love arcades. <laughs> Aw, I want a cute, creepy bee person. So I just wanted to show you guys this fun little area they had here inside this gigantic shopping center this is one of those things you can <laughs> grab this heavy hammer and then hit it and 
try to get as much points as he can. And this, I don't know what that is, I think like a dancing station. And they even had a nice, big, full-size bowling alley inside. And we do want to go bowling again, so stay tuned for that. the food court to go do more shopping because we still have to wait and all I can smell is food and it smells so good and I'm so thirsty <laughs> alhamdulillah also this center has a huge grocery store inside of sorts and they had some good deals so we picked up a few things mostly just some snacks and some things at the deli you know like cheese pickled beets olives and some deli meat stuff like that. This is me picking up these butter and herb crackers that I really like in soup. They're so good. And I thought this was cute. Ramadan decorated Nutella jars. These huge bag of sweets are sold for a traditional Kuwaiti celebration here during Ramadan called Gurgayan, where children will dress up in traditional Kuwaiti attire such as Dara and Dishdasha and will go door to door asking for candies and nuts and in exchange they usually sing songs and uh, are dressed up. And this is Al Rafai, same as Salah's family name and it's a popular roastery here in Kuwait, Syrian. They have a huge Tang section here. Do you guys remember Tang as kids? <laughs> So Salah ran back to the car to put all the groceries in so we could eat in the food court and he caught the sun going down. There was about five minutes left to Maghrib time or when Iftar starts when we can break our fast. So I was waiting in the food court. We had already ordered the food and the sun was going down. What a sight. On his way back in he captured some of the traditional Kuwaiti clothing that children would wear for Gurgayan. So cute. I love it. And look at this cute little mannequin. <laughs> so they have these nice hand washing stations in the food court so I took it upon myself to give my hands a rinse with some water. So for Iftar we decided to try this Italian restaurant that didn't serve Italian food. So for my meal, I had mall Chinese food, spicy potatoes, chow mein, spicy chicken, a pomegranate soda, and some a side of grape leaves. And of course, uh, they give you some dates to break your fast with, and a ice cold bottle of water. I can't wait to drink that, let me tell you. So yeah, Italian restaurant that serves um, mall Chinese. And Salah opted for the chicken like I had some pasta bechamel and some rice and a orange kinza drink and water of course as well
cheese on us. Here it looks like we have more traditional Gagayan outfits, this time for girls and young ladies. <laughs> Somebody gave them food and water. They'll scratch you, come. Yalla, yalla. 